Israel Gaza Iran War News Live Update Israel's Seven Front War with Iran With Israel currently fighting in the Gaza Strip and openly discussing a new offensive in southern Lebanon, regional anxieties are growing over the possibility of a bigger battle with at least seven fronts. Since Hamas' unprecedented October surprise onslaught, Israel has faced strikes from various theaters. Netanyahu said last week that Israel supports the Axis of Resistance, a regional coalition, in a seven-front battle with Iran. The next day, the Iranian mission to the UN warned Newsweek in X, formerly Twitter, against Israeli full-scale military aggression in Lebanon, home to Hezbollah, which has fought Israel in cross-border attacks. The Iranian mission warned of obliterating war and the involvement of all resistance fronts. In response, the IDF informed Newsweek that the IDF is prepared for a variety of security situations in all areas, and will continue to safeguard the state of Israel from the different threats. With threats rising and no signs of a ceasefire in Gaza or the Israel-Lebanon border, Newsweek has listed the seven fronts where Israel has already faced strikes and where a broader confrontation could escalate, since Hamas took control of Gaza in 2007 two years after the IDF disengaged from a territory they occupied for decades and one year after Hamas won Palestinian elections, a violent rift with Fatah began. However, Hamas' October 7, 2023 strike and the IDF offensive have caused the longest and worst war in the highly populated coastal zone. Israeli officials have claimed major gains in the conflict, but they have also acknowledged that defeating Hamas as a functioning military and political entity, ensuring Gaza could not pose a threat, and returning hostages could take months. While the Fatah-led Palestinian National Authority, PA, retains nominal control over parts of the West Bank, President Mahmoud Abbas faces a major legitimacy crisis over popular resentment toward a lack of elections, accusations of corruption, and growing Israeli military and settler activity that have eroded the PA's governing function. The IDF regularly assaults suspected militia strongholds like the Jenin refugee camp, while Hamas and other factions, including independent groups, have grown their influence across the West Bank, including Jerusalem. Israel has long worried about weapons smuggling into Gaza, but the current war has highlighted the West Bank's massive arms cache. Israeli forces currently control majority of the land, but a coordinated onslaught by organizations here might divert security resources from other fronts. Israel has increased Northern Front resources due to growing skirmishes with Hezbollah, which told Newsweek it was ready for everything. Israel has invaded Lebanon three times and fought two major battles with Hezbollah, but many warn that a new all-out war could be the worst for both sides. Newsweek reported that Israeli sources estimate Hezbollah has 200,000 rockets, mortars, drones, surface-to-air missiles, anti-tank missiles, precision-guided weapons, and more. Hezbollah, which is larger and more powerful than Hamas, could bombard Tel Aviv and Haifa to overwhelm Israeli defense systems like the Iron Dome and subject Israeli troops to constant fire on both sides of the border. Israel has occupied and annexed much of the Golan Heights, which border Syria in the north without international recognition. Since sending advisors and supporting Hezbollah and other militias to support President Bashar al-Assad, who has been fighting rebel and jihadi groups since 2011, the IDF has conducted hundreds of airstrikes against suspected Iran-linked targets in Syria. Israeli authorities have told Newsweek that the Imam Hossein Division, a powerful combination of such groups with deep ties to Iran and Hezbollah, has operated in Syria and Lebanon since the Gaza War. An IDF airstrike that killed Iranian military officials at Tehran's consular building in Damascus sparked the first direct exchange of attacks between Iran and Israel, raising concerns that the Middle East crisis could lead to an all-out war between the two long-time rivals, Iraq. Iraq has become an active front since the Israel-Hamas war, and several groups in Syria are from there. Despite not bordering Israel, the Islamic resistance in Iraq, which comprises the Najaba movement, Kadib Hezbollah, Ashab al Kaf, and others, has launched periodic drone and missile assaults. The Islamic resistance in Iraq reported numerous attacks on U.S. troops in Iraq and Syria until February, when three U.S. soldiers died at the Jordan Syria border, prompting a broad U.S. strike against militia sites in Iraq and Syria and a stop in the battle. 
However, Iraqi militia leaders have repeatedly threatened to resume and expand their campaign against U.S. forces as strikes against Israel continue. Yemen Yemen's Ansar Awa, or Houthi movement, is one of the war's most disruptive axis of resistance organizations, even farther from Israel. The group, which has held Sana'a since 2015 in defiance of a Saudi-led coalition supporting the country's internationally recognized government, has launched missiles and drones against Israel, sometimes in joint operations with the Islamic resistance in Iraq, and against commercial vessels accused of violating the militia-imposed trade blockade with Israel. In response to its marine offensive, the U.S. and U.K. have repeatedly attacked Ansar Allah. However, the group has built underground complexes to bolster its military infrastructure and has threatened direct war with Israel and the U.S. Iran. Like the U.S., Iran has said it does not want a regional war, and Iranian officials told Newsweek that Hezbollah could beat Israel even if it invaded Lebanon. In recent months, as the likelihood of an Israel-Hezbollah confrontation grew, Iranian leaders have openly supported axis of resistance forces. The April barrage against Israel showed only a fraction of Iran's massive and powerful missile stockpile. Israel has long been able to strike the Islamic Republic from within, but an open war may test Israel, Arab states, and the U.S. like nothing before.